Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Please excuse the quarantine hair. Um, I just wanted to share some things that have been on my heart um, related to disability. I want to preface this by saying I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Um, because this is just an area that's not talked about enough and there is a big population of people that are left out of our churches, are left out of hearing the gospel, and are just left out of friendship. And Unfortunately, I think it's because of a couple of reasons. One, we don't like to do things that are uncomfortable. Two, we don't like to do things that are maybe harder. And we just, when things are hard or when things are uncomfortable, we want to avoid it. And that, that's, not, that's not a good approach. Um, I am an extrovert. I love to to be around people. I love to hang out with people and go and do different things. And I'm hoping and praying that those possibilities and those things don't change um, a ton when we bring Miss D home to the US. Now, I'm realistic. I know a lot of it probably will change and there are different things that we'll have to deal with but I want those um, I want those to be because of decisions that we've made you know or, or um, maybe what Miss D dicta dictates for the day I don't I don't want it, um, on, I'm doing this on my iPad. I don't want to feel left out or excluded or whatever because of, of people pushing us out of the picture. And so, um, I, one, it doesn't do anybody any good for somebody to come up to an adoptive parent and say, well, you chose that child, so you knew what you were getting into. A lot of times, we didn't choose that specific child. That child was brought into our lives. The Lord initiated that. Yes, we've said yes, um, but please don't, don't make it sound like, well, you made that decision, um, because as believers, I think it's, um, James 1, let me see if I can find it. Should have marked it beforehand. James. Um, let's see. Religion that our God. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this to look after orphans and widows and their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. That's James 1, um, 27. So we are commanded to look after orphans and widows. And um, that means disabled, not, you know, typical 
whatever. There is an orphan crisis. And don't get me wrong. My heart goes out to those that have struggled to get pregnant, that have lost their little ones. My heart goes out to them because I would love to have another biological child. But the Lord is also putting it on my heart to say, hey, maybe I'm asking you to adopt a couple of kids with special needs. You know, maybe I'm asking you to do something that you might not be particularly comfortable with. And so I'm trying to be open. We're trying to be open with whatever the Lord has for us. And so, um, but for everybody else, it's important to remember that it takes a team, it takes a village, and um, to include these families and to, to love on them and to, as much as it's hard, to just be there for them and be an encouragement and, um, yeah, lifting them up, asking questions when you don't understand, or just sitting with them, and, um, yeah, just helping them through things. I guess where I was trying to go with this at the beginning was I saw an Instagram post where this, um, mom... And, and family have this little girl that has cerebral palsy. And it affects her in a number of ways. And they were invited with by a friend to go to this splash pad. And come to find out it, it was accessible and that kind of thing. But it was still going to be a lot of extra work and, and challenging for them. And so a lot of times disability families have to make a decision of okay do we do we have the energy to put in the extra work and and to do what it takes to do this activity or is it better to do to choose something else and so um extended family that have family members with disabilities include them as much as you can and I would encourage you, like if you want them to do something with you, say, hey, we'll help you get through this. You know, we'll, we'll help that little one or whatever get around for the day and just be there for them. Because this is, to look after orphans and widows and the disabled, like that is something that we are all commanded to do in God's word. It's not just, oh, them over there, that's what they're commanded to do. No, we all are. And so, please try to do your part and just reach out there and be there for people um, that have disabilities or have little ones that have disabilities. And just, we need to get to the point where they're not, oh, those people over there. So, um, yeah, sorry, it's probably all over the place, but it was just on my heart and I felt, I want my little girl to be seen for who she is and not what she has. And I know that that's going to take time and effort. And so I want to pave the way as much as I can, um, for her and, and others. So hope you have a great day full of many blessings. Bye. God bless.